Hello and welcome to On Public Square, a City of Clarksville podcast where we get to know the amazing city employees that help keep the lights on. They're our friends, our family, our neighbors, and each of them has a story to tell. Now, let's say hello. And welcome for the very first time to On Public Square, a City of Clarksville podcast. My name is Casey Williams. And I'm Jimmy Settle. And we are your humble hosts. On this show, we're going to get to know all the incredible people that make up the city workforce, hear some of their stories, and hopefully learn about the work they do for our wonderful city. And what better place to start than here with our hosts? (laughs) Jimmy and I work for the mayor's office and make up the communications department, uh, sort of a duo here. Our department does a bunch of things, really, between sending out news releases, uh, managing social media, and answering questions, be it from just the public or the press, that type of stuff. It's basically our job to help keep you informed. And Jimmy and I, uh, we're both, of course, maybe new to the city. We've both worked here, me, about six months. You've been here for about six weeks now? Yes, roughly. uh, I started December the 5th, so right through the holiday season. (laughs) Yeah, so pretty new to to this floor, but uh, used to working with local government in our own ways. Uh, Both of us came from journalism, which has been interesting. Different publications, but we've worked with a lot of the same people. Uh, Jimmy, why don't we start with you? Uh, Just tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Casey. Uh, You know, I... I actually worked in journalism here for about 35 years. I started right off right off the bat at in 1988 with the Stewart Houston Times, which was a weekly newspaper at that time owned by the Leaf Chronicle here in town. So I did that for a couple of years. Actually, uh, Stewart County is is probably kind of my roots. Uh, Clarksville is as well, and I know it is for you. Mm-hmm. And so you and I are both from here. It's it's kind of another interesting dynamic. So we're at home. Definitely. And, uh, but, uh, did that for gosh, 35 years and, uh, covering all levels of, of government business, uh, some for Campbell, a little bit of, uh, crime and courts, all that kind of stuff and did some editing as well. And, um, uh, now here I am on the other side of the fence, and this is new, but it's wonderful. And, uh, everybody here has been great, including yourself, Casey. And uh, I'm just enjoying my work here uh, as uh, I was hired as communications director. And uh, now I'm just settling in and and enjoying every bit of this. So what we, as you stated, what we want to do with this is introduce um, Clarksville's wonderful workforce, the city of Clarksville's wonderful workforce, and and people who work in all levels of, of local government here. And because you know, there seems to be this disconnect a lot of times between the constituency and government. But once you get to know the people that work here, you find out they're real people and they have the same concerns and interests and everything that, that everyone else does. So it's, it's great. And I'll talk a little bit about this later, but something that we're really aiming for is we're not just going to be talking with department heads or the people that work on the top floor or anything like that. Our hope is to talk with the people that you might see every day that help you out downstairs at the finance office uh, at the windows, maybe help you update your driver's license. Some of the folks that help keep our streets in working order, uh, make sure that we have gas and water for our homes, help keep the lights on. Those are the types of people we're hoping uh, to focus on speaking with. People that maybe go to your church, that you've seen at a restaurant, that are just friends and family. Um, Hopefully, eventually, you'll hear from someone on here that you already know. And Jimmy, you mentioned we're both natives. Uh, We're also both uh, University of Tennessee and Martin grads. Right. So, you know, go Skyhawks. (laughs) I am also a governor. I went to APSU for grad school, moved away for a few years, but... Like Jimmy said, uh, my name is Casey Williams, and I grew up in Clarksville, Montgomery County, uh, as some folks might call it, the right side of the river. I'm a Montgomery Central High School grad, born and raised out in this area. Similar to Jimmy, I've kind of worked a little bit of all over the place, started in theater, doing acting and directing, and then have done some teaching for English, which is where my studies mostly focused. 
and then found myself in journalism. Uh, I worked three years for Clarksville Now, uh, covering the local business and uh, local government beats. So if you've ever looked online and seen anything about city council or county commission, chances are you've seen one, if not both, of our bylines. One of my favorite things was just the friendly competition <laughs> of, of being like, yeah, got it before Jimmy did, or <laughs> darn it, he beat me to that one. <laughs> We had that, didn't we? Yeah. We had that, and now here we are working together. So that's kind of neat, you know. Yeah. And, and that's the way it works a lot of times. <laughs> but that's good. But uh, just to guess a little bit uh, personal, I, I enjoy video games and board games. Play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. I play bass guitar. I uh, played in some local bands around here once upon a time. And uh, another just fun fact, I'm going to be a dad probably by the time this first episode <laughs> releases here in about five weeks. That's great. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, I had something fun planned before we talk about what the show will be. Okay. Uh, I pulled up just to add a little bit to the get to know you section, our uh, muckrack profiles. <laughs> For those unfamiliar, muckrack is a website that uh, journalists use to kind of collect their works. We use it for portfolio management, but it also is a place where you can kind of see our work. One of my favorite things they did with muckrack recently is they added an interview portion. And I also learned you can't change these answers because I was one of them. I was like, you know, I, I have a better answer for that now that I think about it. And it's like, no, it's on the record. You can't change it. Uh, so I'll share my answer. And then uh, some of these you hadn't done, Jimmy. And I'm curious if you have answers for them. OK. So the first question that Muckrack asks is, who is your favorite fictional journalist? I'll tell you, for me, I wrote Ben Caxton from Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert H. Heinlein. Though, in retrospect, I would have put Ford Prefect from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's the one I wish I had changed. Wow. You know, I've never really given a whole lot of thought to fictional journalism, so I'll, I'll have to pass on that one. <laughs> but anyway, that's good. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's interesting. Uh, why did you become a journalist originally? The, the writing craft. I, I just, you know, I was tinkering around at Martin with several different potential majors. I hadn't, I, I went in undeclared and just some English teachers felt like I needed to steer in that direction because it seemed to be where I was, where I was excelling the most. So one thing led to another. And then I, and then I had a guest lecturer on campus uh, by the name of Wilson Hall, um, who was a Vietnam correspondent uh, for NBC radio before he retired and then kind of did the circuit in academia. And he he just blew me away one day in a, in a lecture. And I thought, man, I want to be part of that world. So, and it was the written word for me. I know a lot of people uh, are skewed toward broadcasting, especially nowadays. And as technology and everything changes with it, for me, it was the written word. And, and uh, so, yeah, it, and, and then, but as time went on, what I really loved was not so much about the writing craft itself, was but just the people that you encounter, the people that you meet. Everybody has a story to tell you. Some some you have to dig a little deeper than others, and, and some are more introverted in their personalities, so maybe they're not as open to discussing it as others, but everybody has a story. And, and sometimes it's those stories that aren't so overtly out there that are the most fun to tell and to find. So. Yeah. I definitely get what you're saying. And that's always was my favorite thing. It wasn't the the government stuff was fun and getting to do like in-depth investigative work was always really fun yeah. in its own way. It was a challenge. But my favorite thing was going out and just getting to hear people's stories and tell help tell those stories. And mm -hmm. I think that's why I was really excited to do this podcast project. Uh, one of my favorites, and I forget the gentleman's name off the top of my head, but we had a... Uh, an individual, a dentist who who lived here and operated. I I covered his 108th birthday or something like that. Oh, great! Yeah. yeah, I'd have to go look it up to get his name and the exact number. But it was really cool to talk to him about just his life and having a, a 75 year something practice. Sure. Or speaking with uh, the gentleman, uh, we have a local who passed away sadly a couple years ago, who was a survivor of the USS Indianapolis and getting mm -hmm. to talk with him about his story was another yeah. one that I remember very well. Right. Uh, you mentioned a uh, guest lecturer at UT Martin. I had a similar uh, individual who 
in retrospect, always gave me a great respect for journalism. And then when I started working in it, I very much wanted to emulate his writing style. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Rick Bragg. Um, I've heard the name. I, I, I had not heard him, but I did hear yeah. the name. Yes. He, he was a sports writer for the most part, but also a novelist. Uh, and, okay, and great. Wrote some really great novels that do a great job of capturing sort of Southern culture in a way that is more honest than I think most people are usually, but is also kind in the yeah. way it it's honest and real, but it it's still with a sense of love and respect and kindness toward those stories that just meshes really well together. You know, I think we all have that. And anybody who's done what we do has had that one person that just sort of mesmerized us and sent us into another galaxy if you will of wanting to do this for a living you know and and then we were talking early about how we earlier about how you and I both made that transition from mainstream journalism over to the we used to when we were in journalism we used to call it the dark side now now <laughs> we're, now we're on this side and I and I'm finding that uh, you know it's just a different way of looking at at communicating and mm-hmm. and but we still If you think about it, we still have a lot of the same goal, and that is just to make sure that our constituency knows what is truly happening in city government. And, uh, and, you know, we want to be honest and forthright, but but there's a lot of positive that happens over here, and and that's what we want to tell. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Which I guess leads us into talking a little bit about what this show will be. Uh, on Public Square, this is a name, I went back and forth on names for this show a lot, uh, played around with a whole bunch of different things, settled on uh, on Public Square, uh, actually Stephanie Jenkins, who works in our office, um, kind of helped me settle on it. It's it's the name of where we're at. Public Square is this, a street address mm-hmm. for City Hall and for City Council Chambers and City Court and all of that. Public Square is where we have a lot of some of our best public art. The Eternal Torch is over here. One of my favorite views of the city as well, when you go back behind uh, Parks and Rec, uh, you can get a good look at the bridge, Mm -hmm. and it's it's a great spot to just sit for a minute. Kind of the center of everything, isn't it, Mm -hmm. in Clarksville? It Mm -hmm. really is. Yeah. But uh, that's basically kind of where the name came from. And our current plan, as we said, is each week to be joined by a city employee. We might even mix in some, some elected officials and some local business owners maybe later on. But for now we want to focus on city employees. Uh, And we're hoping to release an episode every other week, roughly to be specific, every first and third Friday of the month. Uh, Hopefully these will start coming out soon. My goal is to build up a bit of a backlog so that you guys don't have to miss an episode. If, I suddenly have to take care of a kid for a few weeks. <laughs> uh, but along the way, we'll be also talking about some Clarksville related news, especially as it uh, pertains to city government. Uh, I'm also working on a way for people to be able to send in questions eventually uh, so that we can uh, get answers directly to the things you want to know about. Uh, you're going to have to be a little patient with me. I'm still figuring out exactly how that's going to work. Probably it'll be a Google form or something that I'll set up and we'll get it so you can submit questions. Um, We'll have people on like our city clerk, Lisa Canfield, to talk about things happening with city council and new legislation, Uh, sort of a revolving segment with her, or maybe we have the mayor in here to answer some questions. Uh, Maybe we can get some other department heads to come and just talk about what you would like them to talk about. Yeah, we have, um, you know, we have, for example, we have a new, um, Emphasis on on diversity and inclusion with Michelle Lau. We're looking forward to possibly getting her on here, and I think that's definitely doable. Uh, you know, we have our next door neighbors, as as Casey said, and and Lisa, and we have Bill Harpel and and, and military liaison work. Uh, our projects managers are are here. So many people who deal day to day with so many important topics. Uh, uh, that affects our lives every day. And, and we, we want you to hear what they're working on, but we also want you to get, them, get to know them as real people. Uh, so it's kind of a two-pronged approach here with, with this. And, and Casey, I really thank you for, for spearheading this and getting it going because and, and, uh, I think it's going to be a big success. 
happy to do it. I've, I've been ridiculously excited for this project. Uh, having now gotten my feet wet and kind of figured out what we're doing here a little bit, at least uh, getting to do this project, which I've always done podcasting and streaming as, as a hobby mm-hmm. and getting to kind of bring that and do something like this is really exciting for me. But yeah. And with that, I think uh, we were going to keep this one a little short, uh, just a chance to introduce ourselves and kind of get the ball rolling. So I think we can kind of call it there for now. Uh, thank you all if you are listening, who are listening, and we hope you'll be back to join us every other week uh, just to share in some good news and to tell people stories with us. So make sure uh, to join us every other Friday and see what's happening on Public Square. <laughs>